Yo, what's up, everybody? Charles Macro. We back again here in Fishing Planet. What's good to the elite fam, man? How's everybody doing? Hope everyone is well. Prayers up. Peace, blessings to you and your loved ones, man. Hope everything is good with you. Yo, let me see who up in here in the stream. Let me see who up here in the stream. Yo, what's up, Big Kitchens? What's up, Manny? Fresh, fresh, fresh. <laughs> what's up, Dottie? What's up, Wolf? What's going on? What's up, Brandon? What's up? What up? Yo, what's up, Jacob? What's going on, man? Yo, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hey. Yeah, hey, what's up, Catch? Yo, you here, you here. That's what's up, man. Glad you made it through. Wolf say, me being hooked by the bass, at least it wasn't worse when you being stung by catfish. Oh, yeah, that getting stung by catfish can be very serious. I know it hurt uh, when they get up in there, and it can, you know, you got to watch it for the infections and all of that, man. Yeah, you got to tell us about that, man. But yeah, man, again, how's everybody doing this evening, man? Hope everybody is doing well, doing well. We in here today. So let me tell y'all, again, I'm, I'm hooked on bass, but it wasn't just like a pun or whatever. Well, I guess it is kind of a bad pun. Hey, what's up, CSM? What's going on? I see you over there on Twitch. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I was literally hooked. Uh, Wolf, no. I'm going to show y'all real quick. I'm going to pull up my Discord. I was literally hooked. I was out fishing yesterday. I planned the stream yesterday. And, um, yeah, I'm on PC, big. I'm on PC. I had planned to stream yesterday, and I was out. I went out. I took, like, a late lunch, and I got a pond. That's, that's my main pond that I fish at. And um, I was trying out this new lure. It was just this little crank. It's really like a minnow crank. It's silver. It's like shag. It says it's like a shag color. It's like a real silver chromey looking joint. And I was testing out this little too. So it, it, it don't cast as far as I would like. I got to get a bigger one. But I was testing that thing out. Man, the bass was just hitting it. Bow, bow, bow. I was like, oh, man, I like this. So check this out. So I didn't I didn't threw it out there. I'm going to show y'all. I caught one right, boom. I was doing good, caught one with it. Caught a little crap. Well, that's a, uh, I don't know, that's a little crap. But tell me what y'all think this fish is right here. I wasn't sure because there are a few sunfish in there. I know we got red here, but I, I ain't totally sure what all uh, panfish we got in here. But what, what fish do y'all think this is, man? Let me know down in the comments. Um, But caught this joint too. That's how little it is, you know, the the, the lure. And I saw somebody fishing with it. One of the guys I watched, Richard Jane, he, he's a, a real cool, uh, got a cool fishing channel, man. He's like a master. Man, this thing I know, I caught this bass right here. He shook once. I got some video. I'm a, I'm a, I got to edit the video of what happened. This is actually from the video. I had the chest cam on. He shook twice. That third time, I was trying to, I was trying to grab him, you know, by the lip to hold him up and take the um, hook out. Man, that mug shook, and it just hooked deep into my finger, like, ugh. And I'm, I'm sitting there holding the fish and the hook, and he's shaking and got the weight coming down on him, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. So I'm like, ah. Oh. So I had to try to get my rod up with my foot. That joint was in me. And it, it got in me pretty deep. It got in, hey, IGN, yo, appreciate that follow. You are elite. It got in me pretty deep, man. So um, I couldn't get it out. I was trying to, you know, get it out myself. But it, it was uh, it was crazy. I had to get somebody happened to come by and was asking me some questions, and I had to get them to get my pliers out my my two uh, my tackle box, and you know we was trying to get. I had to rip to get the fish off, and yeah, it was it was crazy. So next time I got to make sure I just hold the fish and use my pliers to get them treble hooks. Them treble hooks don't play. Them treble hooks don't play. I learned the hard way, man. That was my initiation. So yes, but I'm back in and I'm good. I got back out there. I don't even care. You know, I was tough with it. I was just walking around with that in my finger <laughs> until I was able to get the professionals to get it out. And, uh, yeah, yeah. 
I'm here. I'm here. I'm getting right back out there. So what I'm going to do today, I'm focusing a lot of what I do in some of these streams on what happened in real life, man. And since that happened in real life, I'm going to try to use that crank because that fish got me. The crank got me. So I'm, I'm going to use that. And um, we're going to throw the crank out a little bit. Yeah, I'm on PC, big. I'm on PC. Uh, let's see. Can console play with PC if both are playing on Microsoft? I believe so. I think so. Um, Because they got it where you can play like a Microsoft version, but they got the one where you actually tie it into your Xbox. So, no, no, you still got to be staying. Yeah, if you're on... If you're on Microsoft and I'm on like my Xbox, we can play together, I believe. But not Steam. I'm playing on Steam, man. Uh, Jacob is Xbox too. Hey, what's up, CSM? So you like YouTube better? I hear you. Uh, Jacob trying to play. Okay, you said it's a sunfish or a small bluegill. I thought it was a bluegill at first, I believe. Um, so you don't remember. Okay. Yeah, man. Y'all hook. Uh, y'all get together, fish together, man. If you're on the same console, you on PS4, you on Xbox. Do that for sure. Hey, Joe. Shout out to Drive-By Joe, man. Really appreciate that, Joe. I always been supporting. Year-long member, man. Appreciate that, Joe. Yo, hope all is well, man. Oh, John was gifted a membership by Drive-By Joe. Yo, appreciate that, Joe. For real, for real. Salute to Joe. Hey, Wolf done became a member. That is what's up. Yo, man, appreciate that support, guys. John is a member. Wolf has become a man. Shout out to everybody, man. Yo, y'all, y'all making it all worth it, man. That is dope. Really much appreciated. Much appreciated, man. Yo. Thank you, guys, man. Thank you. Uh, Jacob say he's still not playing with Drift. Uh, Micah got the Congo. He had level 61, almost 62. Nice, Micah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yo, Congo is the way to go. If you're looking for DLC, get that Congo. You will level up. You will make so much money. You won't need any other DLC at all. Any other DLC at all. Uh, yo, Thunder. What's up, Thunder? Say you've been trying to catch one of the strings. You kept missing them. That's what's up. Hey, glad you made it through. Glad you made it through. I uh, can't see me say shout out to you all. <laughs> Big A. One of these days, man, if I get my money right, I'm going to try to do a, I can do a giveaway or something. I, I've built some rigs, man. Maybe one day I can build a rig and do a crazy giveaway. But I got to get big, you know. But that'll be dope. That's something for the future. Uh, make sure to click the gift and allow to receive gifts on the stream. Okay. Joe, do I need to do that or do other people need to do that? Make sure to click the gift and allow to receive gifts. Yeah, that's something I need to do. Let me know, man. All right, guys. Y'all keep chatting, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in North Carolina as I do. I'm, I'm in North Carolina, so I got to represent the hometown. The closest, um, okay, other people. Okay, okay. Thanks, Joe, man. Really appreciate that once again. Since the crankbait is what got me, Joe, did, let me know, Joe, did you see me show the picture of the crankbait that got me? The fish caught me. He hooked me. <laughs> you got to see the picture, man. Um... The closest crankbait I could find to the one that I have, because it's a minnow-looking crank, but it's still technically a crankbait, it, it catches a uh, crappie, too. It's like a crappie minnow. It was silver. It's that silver chrome. The closest they got is this joint right here. And I already had one. It's 30 foot and it's 12 foot in my uh, backpack. So really, this one could, could work, too. I really wanted to use a three foot one, but they didn't have a three foot one in that silver chrome. Uh, they they all were too deep. Uh, they do got this six foot one right here though. You know what? Well, let me buy this six foot one. That's a five. Right. Okay, I didn't see this one. I missed that one. And that's cool. Get a slightly bigger hook. It was actually it was either too heavy or too light. It might have been too heavy. Even this two eye was uh too heavy. So that's why I threw this three foot three eye. Let me see if this silver one will work, guys. Give me a second. Let's see sixteen. 36 foot. It's a five out though. Oh yeah, that's too heavy. I still can probably use it, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna risk it. This one is the 12 foot. I'll put the six foot on here. All right, that's what's up. So yeah, so start at the heron, and I'm gonna throw out this crankbait in honor of the crankbait that got my finger. Uh let's see, it may only be on the browser. 
Hey, Post. Yo, thank you for the follow. You are elite. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I'm trying to get my chat. Okay, there we go for the for Twitch. My restream chat as ain't working right, so I'm looking at two chat windows, guys. So if I miss something, uh, you know, blame it on my head, not my heart. All right, as they say, let's see. Macro make your own bait. Hey, I would do that. I would do that. All right, all right, all right. So let's go on and let's travel to Naharan, guys. I want to throw this line out a bit, man. Really, I just wanted to get on here and chill with y'all, man. Y'all know y'all my peoples, and we just uh, chop it up. Let's see. Without buying premium or coins, would you suggest saving coins for infinite passes? If so, where for early game? Um, I, I would have showed you had I not came to this lake. Well, you know what? I can leave. It don't matter. I can spend the change. So I suggest, because I didn't buy any DLC or get premium until I was at about level 40-something. And that was when the Amazon was only out yet. The Congo wasn't out yet. The first one I saved up for was White Moose. I really like White Moose. Next stream, I'll probably go trout fishing. I've been doing bass. I was, I was going to do trout fishing, but had I not got hooked, <laughs> I would have uh, probably stuck with it. White Moose, but it's 250 bait coins. Now, Falcon Lake and Rocky Lake are just like White Moose. They all have trout. Rocky being the level five. That's the earliest. 14, Oregon, Falcon Lake, White Moose is 22. I would do any of these. If you're still at a point where you want to grind, Emerald Lake is always good to buy. Uh, um, to buy the advanced license uh, with the unlimited. If you can get St. Croix, depending on how many you have, St. Croix, White Moose, uh, Blue Crab, that's going to be a lot. But any of those I would do if you can afford it. I would try White Moose. Once you start getting to a high enough level, you make enough money, you won't even need the Unlimited. I actually don't really use it, but I am trying to get enough uh, bait coins to go to the Congo. So that's what I would recommend, though. White Moose. Uh... St. Croix is really good. A lot of variety. The pike, you can make a lot of money off of and um, get a lot of XP that way. A lot of people grind at St. Croix. Or these two are for less of Falcon uh, being the better of the two. All right. All right. So I'm going to travel here first, and I'll probably go to the Everglades and um, throw this crankbait out. Let me just throw it out a bit, man. I ain't going to stay on two too long. Like I said, I had to. I got thrown off, so I had to do a lot of work catching up once my once my finger got hooked. <laughs> it threw things off. Um, but it's all good, man. That's how things be happening. Macro collab with Tom Holland. I got to check out Tom Holland. I don't know much about Tom Holland, but I'll check him out. Yeah, no problem, Thunder. No problem, no problem. So this crank is, like, way too big. But I'm going to throw it out anyway. See if we get anything coming right here through the reeds. <laughs> hey, what's up, Big Dave? <laughs> Say, don't get hooked again. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try not to. Yo, the crank was working, too. Really, that minnow was more of a top water. No, it was still a traditional crank. It dived about two to six feet. So it was diving, man. But, yo, the fish was on it. I think this one, this five out, probably too too large for this lake. I need to use it. And it's, this ride is crazy. This is like a revenge ride for that fish that got me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jacob, get on Fishing Planets, playing the Everglades. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using cranks. Even though I can't use the exact one, I'm going to use the ones that's close. All right. I'm going to switch to this lighter, to this lighter ride. And even if I don't catch nothing, I'm going to go to the Everglades. The crank should work, which y'all know. All right, so what's y'all favorite lure, man? I know y'all fish, so what lures do y'all like to use? Do any of y'all use any cranks, any top water lures, whopper ploppers? I got a, I got a clear whopper plopper. I ain't caught nothing with it yet. I tried it a few times. And then I actually got a like a 120 size whopper plopper that came in a kit I had got one time. It was... I didn't even know it was a whopper plot. I didn't know what it was at that time. But uh, yeah, I still ain't caught nothing with the with that clear one I got. 
But I plan to, though. I plan to, though. All right. I'm going to catch something with this crank. If I don't catch nothing with this crank, then I'm going to switch it up. Yo, what's up, Brock? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it, man? What's been up with you? How things on your side of the globe, man? Uh, you say you played the Everglades and fished only at night and got at least 1K and kept staying more and more nights. Okay, you made a bunch of your money back. Good. Good. Yeah, you can make money at the Everglades. If you're doing it with bass, it'll be a little grind, but you can get your money back. Um, and then if you're able to go for like tarpon, snook, uh, let's see, the permit, not the drum. Those are your real money makers. Those are the ones where you'll you'll really make some change. When I go to the Everglades, oh, there we go. There we go. The crank hitting, baby. The crank hitting. We got us one. We got us one. Let's go. Let's go. This that fish that hooked me? Is this that fish that hooked me? Come on in. Oh, he running. He running. He might be a trophy. Let me let him run. Let me let him run. I'm going to let him run for a minute. He fighting. He fighting. I see you. This is my 10-pound setup right here. I usually fish with like a, uh, at least at my pond, because they don't get too big. It's probably like a three, maybe a three-pounder in there, three, maybe four max hiding. I usually fish with like a six-pound setup or eight-pound. I got a trophy. Nice. The crank got the trophy. That's that fish that got me. You that fish that got me. Are you that fish that got me? I had to get him back. <laughs> I see you, Dave. Uh, he said, no, you fish for the red drum. Caught a 36 and a 38. Nice. Nice. That is what's up. Yeah, that's where you make your money at, at that back part, uh, fishing for those bigger fish. And then you can fish the bass kind of for fun. But, yeah, that's where you really make your money. Tarpon, drum, and uh, I think they got some flat whiskers back there, too. They don't make the best money, but uh, yeah, that tarp, drum. If you can catch some tarp, you'll make some real good money. I keep wanting to say permit, but I'm thinking about blue crab. Hey, we got another hit. Another hit. Tarp, drum, and snook. Snook ain't the best for money either, but you know, you'll catch plenty of those. Snook like the rat to that lake. All right, we got a young large mouth. Catch a few of these and then we'll we'll dip on out. Getting this crank. I'ma show y'all the picture again of the fish that hooked me. And I'ma I'ma edit the video. Like I said, I got the video. Yo, it was stuck in me. I had to carry the fish on the hook with the hook in my finger, in my knuckle. <laughs> In my knuckle and the fish, every time it shook, it was like ripping it further into uh, my tissue. But luckily, it didn't hit really any nerves or anything, man. So it was all good. See, gaff top at the Everglades. Oh, that's right. Gaff top. Got you. Got you. A nice fish slap for that fish hooking your finger. <laughs> hey, man, he said, don't forget to like, support our bro. Hey, appreciate that, man. He. Appreciate that, man. Uh, so you love Casper. Okay, Ed Jacobs. All right, all right. Let's see. When you first started to play, you watched the Smallmouth Buffalo Beginner Guide. Yeah, yeah. It took me a minute to uh to find that too. I was still early in the game, but anytime I tr I find like a good method. Or found any hot spots, I just tried to share it, man. I never knew that that video, well, that, that me said in a positive light. I thought or hoped that it would do that, but you know, it was just a video I made. You know, never knew that it would um, reach so many people and help so many people, man. That video got like two hundred and almost three hundred thousand views. And uh, thousands of people, you know, have said that it's helped them, man. So that really, really makes me happy. Like, you know, who knew? Who knew? Uh, say, caught a lot. You were so grateful. Hey, look, glad to help, man. Really, really glad to help. Again, I, 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 
you know, you imagine, you hope something like that will happen, man. But I, I never knew, you know. So I'm, I'm glad to know that it, it helped so many people, you know, that was starting out and and learning the game like myself. Okay, big. Uh, let's see. Look like knocking out the trophy missions are the best way to grab some early coins. Any other tips on earning coins? Just missions. Um, yeah, missions. Look out for the monster missions. Do. Do your monster missions, do all your early missions, your trials, your explorations. Um, even look out for those ones where you got to, like, catch weeds and trash. Those are good ones. Um, log in. Make sure you log in every day. Like, even if you don't play, just log in. Sometimes if I can't play because I'm busy with work and stuff like that, I still just log in so you can get that five days. It takes a while, you know, every five days to only get a bait coin, but... It adds up. The other thing I recommend doing, I'm going to show you real quick. The other thing I recommend doing, okay, we got a young. This is something I do. Don't discount these competitions, right? Now, these competitions are hard to win. Some of the people, they they know them. They know the tricks, the, the glitches, whatever, to catch them. I don't win many of these, right? Tournaments, wait till you get hundreds of thousands of dollars before you even try these because you're – I entered one of these and broke myself. I thought, oh, I got 20K. You still got to spend money to travel. You still got to spend money to get around. I went broke trying to fish in my first major tourney, right? Wait till you got like hundreds of thousands before you try that. These custom competitions is where it's at. You see this custom competition right here? It's at Lone Star Lake. That's the first lake. What you want to look out for is the gold ones. These gold ones all mean that you can win bait coins, right? These are hard to win, too. Don't get me wrong. The, but these are easier than the comp, these regular competitions. As long as you got fairly heavy um, tackle, fairly heavy gear or setup, you can win these because it's about getting it in fast. But some of these are just like the biggest or the smallest or the gap in between. It ain't about how many you catch. So you got a chance. Now, the other thing you need to look for if you enter in these custom competitions is this thing right here. You see some of these got the single. Some of these got the group. This is a team competition. And this, again, Lone Star Lake. If you enter these team competitions, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. Look at the rewards on this one. Okay, two bait coins for that one, right? But it's only two teams. So even if you are lower level and your gear isn't that strong, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. I won some of these, and I got carried by my team. Now, you do want to be able to contribute. You want to be able to catch... But here at Lone Star, you can catch these. You know, everybody can catch the bad, so you can contribute to your team. But sometimes people on the other team don't come. They quit. They drop out, and you'll end up on a team, and it's way more y'all than the other team, so y'all win. So it's an easy way to win bait coins, getting on these teams. Like, check this one out. Let's see how many bait coins are the rewards. Five. You got the potential. You got a 50-50 chance of winning five bait coins. This one right here. Let's see how many on this one. 10, you got a 50-50 chance of winning 10 bait coins. So, yeah, look out for those competitions that are gold and especially look out for the ones that have a team because you got a 50-50 chance of winning bait coins. That's what I, that's one of the ones I recommend that a lot of people don't see. I need to do a video on that, but a lot of people um, miss that or don't even know that that's a thing or that that's available. Other than that, yeah, missions. You got to do the missions. You got to do the monster missions. The trial and the explorations, they unlock more missions. So the first mission you see at a lake is actually usually a lot more, uh, just in case you don't know. SDB, what's up? SBD, what's going on, man? So you just got to practice. Nice, nice. How was practice? Uh, Micah, you got a unique tiger fish. Hey, that's what's up. That's good money, good XP right there. Uh, see, the Amazon got you. Uh, young and they are slow. And let's see. Would like to know my shark spots. Okay, I show you my shark spots. What I do, I'm gonna catch some of these bass. Like I say, just cause I gotta get my get back for for getting hooked. And um, I'll go show you that one at uh, I show you the Amazon. I got a spot that I always use, and it's my hot spot at the Amazon. I think I did a video. I don't think I did a video on it. I think I only do it in the stream. I'm going to do a video, but we I'm going to show you right now. But I need to do a video on it. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to tell you, they kind of nerfed the Amazon, so you're not going to catch a lot of trophies, honestly. You got to hunt all around for the trophies, and it is boring and it takes forever. So my spot is just that same singular spot. It's the same place I showed you in the, uh, in the video, but I'll show you the map where all my spots are. If you really want to get more regular bull sharks and more trophies, you got to move around to all the spots. I don't feel like doing it, so I just sit in one spot. Uh, it's, I feel like I earn more when I just sit in that one spot than going around hunting them. Uh, let's see. Say cool. Say you did not know about the competitions or the monster missions. The monster missions don't list as coins, as rewards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, and Toby, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but all the monster missions you win... Um, the monster missions you do win bait coins, right? Most of them, if not all of them, you get bait coins and a prize, like a reward, usually like lure, tackle, etc. Hey, what's up, Sam? Appreciate that follow. You are elite. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about the tournaments on Fisher Planet. Yeah, and if you if you want to try the big tournaments or even the 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 regular competitions, they good XP and good uh lure. I don't have a lot of luck with them. I hadn't won any. I've done, done well on like a couple of the custom competitions, but besides that, like I ain't won none of them big joints. You do get coins to monster missions. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just stick to the missions. You'll get a lot. Oh, my face cam froze. Let me know if it kicked back in. Uh, let's see, you found two spots for sharks and they aren't very good. All right, all right, guys. Oh, let me show you this real quick. Let me show you this real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the location. So, yeah, guys, the 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 whole premise of today's stream or tonight's stream was the fact that I was out fishing, caught a bass, boom, tested out this new little crank minnow right here, good for crappie, good for something. It catches a little bit of everything, bass, boom. Man, I caught the third fish trying to take the hook out. Them treble hooks got me. He shook. It was like three different times. I got it on video. And that mug caught me in my finger, man. It was in that deep. I had to get the professionals to get it. I couldn't even rip it out. I tried. I'm a soldier. Now. I'm a warrior. I was trying to rip it out myself. Like, ugh. But I could not get it out. And I didn't want to do no, like, real deal damage. So I said, all right, I got I to gotta let the professionals take care of it. But yeah, man. So that's why I'm fishing with these cranks here. But we've caught us some here in North Carolina. Got to do it at home. This this represents my home pine that I like to fish at. So I'm going to get up out of here. And we're going we gonna to change locations. See what we can find. See what we can find. I actually, I want to show uh, Can't See Me some spots at the Amazon. What else was we talking about? It was another, I thought it was another location. Oh, we were talking about the Everglades. But you good at the Everglades, right? Yeah, you were saying you were straight at the Everglades. I don't think I need to go there. I'm looking back through my uh, chat real quick. Uh, that was big. Big catches. So you played the Everglades. Okay, so yeah, he good. He good. All right, so I'm going to go show my shark spot real quick. Since y'all in here with me, we'll do that. Uh, Let's see. Oh, Brock, you say you had a lure in your kneecap. Yeah, send it to me on Discord, man. Send it to me on Discord so I can look at it and be like, ah. <laughs> yeah, man, that joint was stuck in me serious. I was showing the people when I when I went to get it out. And they were like, oh, let me see. We heard about it. They were like, oh. <laughs> hey, man, luckily, I'm sitting there struggling because one hand I'm trying to hold the fish so it quits ripping the, the hook into my skin. The other hand got it in it, so I'm trying not to move because of the little pain because it was starting to, like, touch my bone. And then my rod on the ground, so the line is still in the hook, so I hadn't snipped it yet because I'm trying to still hold the fish, and I can't pick up my pliers to snip it or my scissors in my tackle box. So I had to use my foot to kick up the, the rod and carry it. And then, um, like, a neighbor in the neighborhood came by and, and uh, was asking me about some questions about something else. And uh, I was like, yo, I got this hook. Can you help me? <laughs> and look, she had to grab the, the pliers 
and grabbed the hook, and then I had to twist the fish out because I couldn't get them out right because of all of the weight, man. It was crazy. And then I was able to go on and get to my car, snip the line, and I had it in me for like an hour because I came home first and tried to get it out again myself, but it was like, it was too deep. I, I thought I was going to do some damage if I kept messing with it. Let me travel on here. Uh, let me see. I got everything I need. I got my, okay. Uh, if you're going to fish at the Amazon, I you, I recommend using your match rods, your floats. You can use a feeder, but your match rod and blood is what you're going to use with these shots. That's what I use for the sharks, all right? So I'm going to show you all my spot real quick. But, yeah. And it was late. She was like, she's like, I can't help you with your finger. I can't look at that. <laughs> she was going to pass out of something. So, yeah, but she did at least help me hold the, the plies while I ripped the fish out. Once I got the fish out, I put them back in the water and everything. I got a video of it. I had my chest cam on because I've been doing, um, I've been fishing. You know what? I should pull that up and show y'all. I've been doing some, uh, some, some of the chest cam joints. I might show, I'm going to think about it. I might show y'all some of the footage on this stream. But uh, yeah, I've been just fishing my pond, practicing, you know, reeling in, catching a few with the with the chest cam. I got to get a GoPro right now. I'm using my phone, but the phone works well. The phone works well. All right, we gonna jump in the boat now. If you've been to the Congo and got that DLC, then you have the boat with the two ride stands. It makes what I'm gonna do a whole lot easier. Okay, if you don't have a boat with the ride stands. You're gonna have to um just hold the ride singularly. It still works, but my eyes go up because I got the boat with the ride stand. So that's just kind of a FYI. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few of my spots. Shout out to everybody who helped me find these spots. Shout out to my man Jay the Dane. He over there in Denmark, so he probably sleep right now, man. I think it's very late in Denmark right now. But shout out to, to Jay. Um, he was the first person that showed me all of these spots. And then I found a few more, you know, after I kind of learned, but he showed me the first initial spots, man. So shout out to Jay. All right. So these are the first two spots, right? You start right here on the dock. You got a spot right here and a spot right here. Both of these, you can catch sharks. Both of these, you catch yonis. I don't fish them like that because they don't have the frequency I like. All right. Oh, the other thing you can use, one more thing, let me show you, is swim baits. They come with the Amazon if you ever got the Amazon DLC. But if you don't, if you high level enough, get these duo swim baits. These duos too, I, I used to be able to catch them on the spin ride or the, not the spin ride, you know what I'm talking about. Um, It's like your bait caster joint. I used to catch them with this duo swim bait greens. A lot of people said the blue works. I ain't never caught none with the red, but I'm going to assume it works. If you're not at the level high enough to buy it, you probably can use these regular swim baits, and the shark goes after those too. But these duo swim baits, you catch these the, uh, the best on your, like your bait casters and joints, all right? So, yeah, right here is a negative, around negative 500, 430. And right here, negative 373 to 300. That was the first two spots, right? So if you if you really out and you're trying to try every spot, hit those spots first. Fish in there. You see, I got markers. Those are all sharks. Maybe uh, it might be a random other fish too, but those mainly sharks. Hey, what's up, Big? Glad you made it back. You can throw your swim bait, reel it in. I mean, since we're here, I might as well do it. I'm going to throw, throw the swim bait real quick. And see if we catch anything. But I'm only gonna throw it once, cause like I said, I don't, I don't even really be wasting my time at this spot anymore. I go straight to my spot spot when I come in. All right, but you wanna do real speed too? Stop and go if you're gonna use this. Otherwise, throw out um your match ride with blood on it. Uh, let's see, how did I get so much money? A hey, grinding. A hey, the Congo DLC. If you really want to just get a whole ton of money, buy the Congo DLC. That's the only DLC you need to get. It's like buying one game, and you'll stack up so much money, you'll be able to go everywhere you want to. But before that, I was coming here to the Amazon. Before the Congo came out, the Amazon making a lot of money off sharks and just grinding. 
Toby said he's still fishing St. Croix. Nice. Uh, IGN, you said, what's the biggest fish I've ever caught? Uh, it was one of those now purchase. I think the fighter shark is the biggest fish, actually. That fighter shark was huge. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Traveling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. I got you. I got you. Let's see. You got the Congo Draco boat. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, let's see. You was in a remote fishing, uh, a remote fishing sport. It was hard to spot uh, to get. You had to go through trees and bushes. What? Oh, a remote fishing spot to get back to the car because it was tied so high. Oh, man. You was out salt fishing and it got you. Oh, man. I know that was crazy, Brock. Yo, big. Yeah, we at the Amazon, big. I'm showing some shark spots uh, to some of my guys. Let's see. You at the Congo grind and just hit level 64. Nice. Yeah, the Congo where it's at, man. If you really want to get your money and your XP, you'll level up so crazy. Like, you can get the level in the 60s. Um, easy. Depending on how much time you got, at least the 50s. Let's see. Trying to get the level 68 before you lose the pass. Okay. So much money. Yeah, it's insane. It is insane. Okay. All right. So this is the first spot. I'm going to go on and move on to the next spot. I'm going to show you the main spots. So you go past this one to the next entryway. I'm not going to fish this one. I'm going to just show you. I showed you on the map, but it's the second entryway. Just park right here and either throw out your match rod with blood on it. Very shallow. Shallow as you can go. 15 uh, feet, 20 feet, 25 feet, something like that. Cut through here, turn, bust this left. You can turn right, and there's a spot all the way at the top. I'm going to show you on the map, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to just show you what I go to. So I usually come through the canal, and then right here. Now, there's a spot right here I'm going to show you. I actually have gotten a lot of activity at this spot. If you come out the canal... And then let me let me put my break on. I'll show you that real quick. I, I should have got a little closer, but it's right there. You can throw the swim bait or you can throw the blood. Dog on it. When you click it, it just changed to a, a weird lure sometimes. I don't know why it does that. Put it back on my swim bait. Hold on. Okay. All right, I'm going to show you this on the map. Let's see, yo, Marin open, good spot too. Oh, I got, you got Marin open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally got a hot spot out for Marin. All right, so this is the other spot I like to use. It's right here, negative 272 to 139. I got about three spots right here. Up here at the top, this is spot, negative 688 to 304. Right there under this little land piece. Right here, negative, basically negative 600, 599 to 80, or by 80. This is the spot we're going to go to. This is my main spot right here, though, negative 500 by negative 117. You also can come down here, negative 222 to negative 464. And way down here at the bottom, these are spots. This is a short shot. I saw somebody catching sharks off the shore right here. I never actually caught one, but I watched the dude catch like four sharks right there. Um, this one is also one. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's where I caught the fighter shark. Somebody, hey, and whoever helped me catch the fighter shark, if you're in here, shout out to you. Thank you. This was, I think, one of the biggest ones, 448. I think I caught a 459 perch that beat that. But down here at the bottom, you also got some sharks as well. I caught croaker, a few other ones, but... I sat down here and caught a lot of sharks, even though my markers might say different. But that's negative 55 by negative 77. You can catch those PIE bus too. All right. All right. So I'm going to hop back. I ain't going to throw into that one. We're going to get back in, and I'm going to go to my main spot. And I'm going to just show you what I do, how I, how I grind sharks here. I make good money sitting here grinding sharks. Uh, let's see. Please don't time you out. Uh, you're not at all trying to advertise, but you just made a video on XP and money grind. All right. That's cool. That's cool. No worries, man. What lake did you make the video for or what waterway? All right. So right here, boom. 
Now, you can either stay back. I'm going to tell you, honestly, when I stay back, I catch more sharks, right? If I get distance, you catch more sharks if you're further away. It's like the sharks eat a boat, but they'll still attack, right? But you can do the little trick. That trick still works. It just works very slowly, where you throw it super close, like 12 feet, 16 feet, and then you just reel it in directly. That works, too. So what I like to do is park right here. Put my anchor up, or set my anchor down, excuse me. And then I pull out. I really only use two feeders, or uh, two floats. And sometimes I throw my swim bait out if I feel like doing that. Let me find the blood. I have blood on your hook. You see, I got about 300 bloods. First time, hey, uh, Sabotage, what's up? You at 8 mil now. From the Congo DLC, nice, nice. That's what I like to hear. B, what's up, B? What's going on, man? What's good with you? What's good? So I throw past it, past my mark, and to, because I know I'm going to put it on the stand right here, boom. What's good, B? Uh, just trying to help the chat out. They stuck. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, you didn't mean to put sport. Nah, I figured it out. Manny said you almost at two mil cash now. You blow cash on all the new gear every level. Yeah, I used to do that too. I feel you. Oh, you know what? I didn't look. Always be in the peak time. My bad. I didn't do the peak time because I just came straight out here. I'm going to go to the peak time. Sometimes you'll catch them, but it's very rare. But yeah, these are all my markers right here. But throw anywhere under this bush. All right, let me let me pull this up and go to the peak time. And I, I promise you, we going to catch about three, four just sitting here. We going to catch about three, four. But let me, let me fast forward. Let me fast forward the time. I don't go directly to the middle of the peak. I like to start right before the peak and just enter the peak. Sometimes I start about right there to get the fullness. But I'm going I'm to start right here for the video. All right, boom. So I'm going to throw under here a bit. And sometimes I park a little bit to the left or to the right, but it don't matter. It's, it's no big deal. Let's see. Are you saying the Congo DLC because it comes with 100K or you can actually earn money with the Congo DLC and lots of you? Yes, you can earn. No, the 100K, that's nothing. That 100K they give you, just act like that don't that don't that don't even matter. You will make so much money. Toby, tell um tell my man Thunder how much money you made on the Congo. And Toby had just really started playing. He he'd only been playing for a little while. Tell him how much you leveled up and how much money you made at the Congo in that 30 days. Because you get it for 30 days. So I throw one there. Sometimes I throw one here. Sometimes I throw the other one right here and try to do the quick, the uh, the trick to reel it in quick. We're going to try that because you can reel the shark in quick if you bring it in to about the 18. I'm going to keep it at about 18. And I hold the other one. Now, you can put both of them on the ride stands and then throw out that swim bait and try to do the spin bait to catch one, but I usually just do this. It's going to bubble up. Just give it a second. Yeah, Thunder. The Congo DLC, you make so much off Nile Perch and off of Tigerfish. You can make anywhere from 100 to 300 a bag. Like every time you fill up, well, you're going to need a bigger net, but it comes with a bigger net. You'll make about 250, 200. When you get the biggest net, about 300 per full net. And you can fill your net up in like, four or five hours of in-game time, not even real lifetime. Like, you can fill your bag up with now purchase with, like, six catches and make 100, 150, easy. And you get premium for 30 days. So, and, and you'll get one of these rides, and you get this boat I'm on. You make crazy money in XP. Um, Let's see, what's going on? Are you getting time out? Uh, let's see. You're welcome. Okay, Everglades. Say, Toby, did to hear you say you were in the service? No, no, no. I'm not in the service. 
Uh, let's see, same old brethren plotting on the way to make a million. I feel you, man. Hey, I've been doing the same thing. All right, look, this is our first shark, guys. This is our first shark. You see that water bubbling up? But it got to drop, though. It might be a pump fake. It might be a pump fake. Oh, no. It's the real deal Holyfield. And that's realer than real deal Holyfield. There we go. Let's see if we can get him on in before he run. Let's see if we can get him in before he run. Come on in, shark. Now, it's probably going to be a young... Okay, once they start running, what I do, I go ahead and put my ride down. Uh, I had another ride over here. I didn't mean to do that, dog on it. I put my ride down. Sharks usually don't hop off. I let up my ankle. I pop back up. Ah, oh, I got the wrong ride. Dog on it. Look at that. I've been switching, getting the wrong rides, taking forever, and we still going to get them. Boom. And now he can drag us. Now he can drag us. Let's see, you need that Congo pack for your main account just for the boat. Yeah, man. Oh, babe, 37-pound drum. Nice one, big. They said, okay, float rides. When you was trying to catch shark, the bottom rides uh, for them is braid with the titanium. All right, see, that's a young, but look how quick we caught it. That's 9,000 that quick. And then all I do, I'm going to lift this joint up, and I'm going to just back up and do it again. I sit here, and sometimes, you know, if I fish for an hour, like, I might make 50, 100,000, uh, depending on how many sharks. Because you will even sit in here catch a regular and a trophy. You know, that trophy is like 30, what, 30K, 30, 40K? They say you use the bottom rise. Yeah, don't use the bottom rise. Only use the float rise and set it very shallow. The sharks are actually shallow. They are not deep. You will randomly catch one because I've tried it with feeders. You'll randomly catch one on a feeder every now and then, but it's it's very rare. It's very rare. Only use your floats. Set it at like 25, 30. You can even set it at 15 and it'll work. And you can keep your break up, but I don't like floating. A lot of times you'll float with this current. Oh, and you can use 10-odd hooks too. I got an 8-odd on there. The 10 out will help you weed out the youngs, but really it don't. The young's still going to just bite. It's really nothing you can do about it. So, boom, I do that. Um, Okay, that's that ride. Dog on it. I like to put down my other ride first. I got like a method. Got a method to my madness, but it's, it's okay. This one with the bigger bobber, I like to let that one be the one sitting in the water. But it's cool. I'm going to just hold this one and watch. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. Okay, Um, you went from level 43 to 73 and still got 10 days left. That's what Scotty got with the DLC, with the Congo DLC. Toby was level 40, hit level, level 72, made 10 million. And then they got one more where you can do another 70 days. Tom, what's up? What up, Tom? Hey, man, you right on time. No worries. Uh, can't see me went from 50 to 62 at the Congo. Nice, nice. B, tiger sharks. Hey, we tigers. Tigers and lions. <laughs> um, you just can't keep the uni now perched with the net. Yep, that's the only thing. They always do that when you go to these bigger lakes. They make sure they give you a net where you can't keep the biggest one. But you get the XP, which helps you level up. And those, the XP you get from the, the now perch uni is like, what, 60K, 50K? Uh, the Tigers is about the same, 30, 40K. It's insane. Uh, Toby caught a 56-pound musket earlier. Nice, nice. Uh, can't see me. He said, thank you so much for showing you the spots. Hey, yes, sir. Yeah, and I hope that they work for you. Let me know how they work. Uh, Manny say, am I going to get back in the car mechanic simulator 21 anytime? I do plan to. Um, I jump in, but I hadn't really played it like I was playing it when it first came out. But I do need to get back on it. Um, have you been playing it? Have they, you been getting into the new DLCs, building any cars? I want to do some car builds. Um, I really want to build. I got a, a, a Honda Civic that I used to drive. I want to build my old Honda Civic. Oh, let's see. What's the biggest fish I ever caught in real life and in Fisher Planet? Oh, in real life, well, when I was at the coast, I went on like a little fishing, like a deep sea fishing joint, and I caught like a pretty big shark. It, and not pretty big, like real big. I'm talking about like five pounds, you know what I mean? Something small in, in compared to a real shark. It's like a baby. Um, But 
because it's called shark, snapper, flounder, croaker. Uh, yeah, caught a few different ones, but locally, I probably caught like a three pound bass. That's about it. I hadn't done anything crazy. I might have caught like a four pound catfish at one point, but uh, mainly that all the catfish I've caught recently been small. So that's about it. On the game, I've caught a over 450 pound now perch. So that was pretty, pretty big, pretty big. Uh, let's see. Macro, have I played Red Dead Redemption? You've been playing that, you addicted. Yeah, I ain't played Red Dead in a long time. Um, it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Let me throw these out the way I normally throw them. Hey, what's up, OG? What's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? Appreciate you stopping through. Hey, that's another dope channel. Y'all looking for some channels with some good content, man. Check out TK Code. Um, let's see. Big Cassie say you dig the song. Hey, that's what's up. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. If you have you heard the whole song? Cause it's a whole song if you look it up. I actually got a couple other joints. I put out an album. My man uh B Supreme actually helped do some production on that. We got some uh dope tracks we did on that, man. Let's see. Red Dead is a classic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I played Red Dead online a bit. Um, I was playing it on PC, either PC or Xbox. I can't remember. But I didn't. Actually, my man, uh, OG, he went through the, the whole game. And I fell off because I used to do every Rockstar game. I would complete the story mission. All the GTAs. I completed every story mission on GTA, on Red Dead, the first one. I didn't do the story mission on Red Dead 2. But my man, he went through it on his channel. Very thorough with it. Very thorough. The DLC are sweet. <laughs> uh, so your biggest fish is probably a 60-pound Stingray. Wow. Where you catch that at? You was in Florida or somewhere? Uh, let's see. Can't see me say what's up, OG. Uh, 35-pound catfish. Nice, nice. Okay, 35-pound catfish. Dang, and a stingray. That's crazy. 60-pound stingray. Yeah, I, I be hoping to catch me a flathead or something or a, a blue. Let's see, those are our reds. So you heard the whole song. Oh, okay, hey, man, appreciate you checking that out, too. Yeah, appreciate you checking that out. Yeah, B, we need to do some more. Hey, if you are looking for uh, B, man, drop the drop the the production page. If you're looking for some production, man, B, do production, too. And if you're looking for some nice beats, if you happen to do music or you just want some instrumentals to listen to, all right, Toby, say time to crash early morning, right around the corner. Hey, I feel you. I feel you. Look, I'm going to be right behind you, right behind you. The string getting good. Look, I I wasn't going to be on too long. I'm going to probably do the same, man. But, hey, have a good day tomorrow, Toby, man. Peace, blessings. Enjoy your day. Uh, Brock started playing Red Dead 2 online when it came out, in online beta. Yeah, I played it a while back. Let's see, you caught the Red Holden Beach. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, NC represent. Let's see, Scotty catch so many stingrays here in Florida. Look, that's why I asked, because I know Florida got plenty of stingrays, and, and uh, you know, they got that exotica, too. Yeah, man. Hey, what did you, what lure was you catching, or what bait was you catching? And y'all drop that, man. I've been trying some of these different lure, different baits. Let me know what uh what your favorite lure, what your favorite bait is. Uh, right now for me, I've been ODing on Cinco's. I was wacky rigging them, and then um I've been Texas rigging them. I'm gonna try to learn the Carolina rig. I've never done a Carolina rig, so I'm gonna try that too. I got to do it for Carolina, but um and now my new favorite is the is the one that I got hooked with. And that's the um, that's that crank minnow. That thing got me, hooked me yesterday. B, look, let me show you this since you just jumping in. B, 
Let's see, your big ass fish you caught a Spanish mackerel, 60 kilograms. Goodness, 130 pounds. Woo. Let's see, you only catching, uh, you only 11 catching 60 pound rays. Yo, that's crazy. I ain't caught nothing compared to that, but I am. I'm gonna catch a hundred pounds something. Catch a hundred pounds something. <laughs> Uh wow, 130 pounds in Australia. Uh Scott said your best bass luck was on frog poppers. Nice. I got a frog, but this one that just came in like a little kid I bought. I need to get some more variety with my frogs. But B, let me show you what happened, man. I ain't even tell y'all I was gonna hit you. Um look, this is why I was doing crankbaits tonight, cause I was catching this bass. I done told the story early in the stream, man. I caught this joint, testing out this new uh it's a very little minnow uh crankbait. Uh it can catch crappie and all of that. Sunfish bass. Was testing that joint out and it was hooking them. It was hooking them. Next thing I know, man, this third one, this third bass I caught, it was, I was trying to get the hook out of him. I was reaching for his mouth to hold him up and get the hook out. That mug shook. That third time he got me, ugh, it was stuck all in my finger, man. It got me. I could not get it out. It was in there deep. And it was a whole ordeal getting it out, man, trying to get the fish off. The fish was wiggling, going crazy. Oh, uh, with it still in my finger, pulling it in more. Like, I felt like it was about in the bone. Yo, it was crazy. I got to, I had to get the professionals to get it out, man. I was showing the picture, and I was videotaping. I had the chest cam videotaping. So, and I couldn't press stop because I was holding the fish, trying to keep it from pulling into my bone further. And I was trying to get my rod up. I'm trying to hold all these things in my tackle with this fish still hanging from my finger. And as somebody happened to come out, I got him to hold my pliers and hold the hook while I twisted the fish off. I released the fish, but it was still recording. So I got it all on video, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. You're going to fish those spots and you'll message on Discord. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And usually, let me, hey, one more thing, uh, CS. If, it's, if it gets dead like this, quit the game. Or, or fast forward, unless, you know, you can't fast forward. Like, I'm at a point right now where I can't, because you know how it is. They, uh, I'm in cool down. If you're on cool down and you can't fast forward, just quit the game, come back in, and it usually activates the shark. But also fish around, like fish here, fish here, throw it here, anywhere in this area. And a lot of times I was saying that I'm doing this method where I'm close, but if you back up, let me, I'm going to back up one time and try it. Sometimes if you back up, the sharks will bite. You're just going to have more of a fight. Let me show you this real quick. I'm going to back up and cast just to see. And then after that, I'm going to probably wrap it up, guys, anyway. But, yeah, if you back up to about here and try all of those spots, man, find the one that works for you. But this is just my, my little hot spot. If I back up to about here, put down my anchor, Cast it a little more of a distance. I think that, you know, keeps the sharks from seeing your boat, you know, being a little more fearful. So, boom, I'm going to throw that there. Put that one on the right. Pull out my other jammy. Throw him here. I'm going to put this one on the other rise thing. It's going to float out to the left a bit, but that's okay. And then I pull out this one here, and I'm going to try my swim bait. I got a marker way back there, too. Boom. And like I said, real speed, stop and go. Real speed, too. But, yeah, let me know. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Big say love watching. Uh, channel uh, so active with the chat. Hey, appreciate that. I'm underrated. Appreciate that, Big. Yeah, B, it was serious, man. It was a whole ordeal, man. It was a whole ordeal. Oh, I had a bite. That ain't a shark, though. You'll catch other little fish, too. Uh, B, say so you had a treble hook in your head and your cheek once. It was horrible. Yeah, them treble hooks is no joke. Them treble, I learned the hard way. Like, I'm definitely, next time I catch a bass, I am going to hold them out by the body. And I'm going to use my pliers to get that hook out before I start doing anything. I would never try to 
to mouth them again while that treble hook that close. It got me. It got me good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, something on the hook. Something on the hook. Oh, that ain't a shark. That ain't a shark. Is that a piranha? Is that a j Okay, Bakuda. Nice. Uh, Macro, that's not the biggest. They get 100 kilograms. Goodness. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, uh, my joint. I must have been putting some pressure on my computer. It's starting to hit me with the little slow patches. I was designing and making the, the thumbnails and stuff like that. I ain't reset the computer before I started. That <laughs> monetize my pain. Hey, I feel you, B. Hey, you know it. You know it, brother. Let's see. Thunder caught up 42 pound blue cat from a pay lake. Nice. Uh, largest shovel head cat was a 36. Largest saga 23. Three quarters of an inch off the Ohio State record. Wow. It's set in 1981. 24 and a half. Nice. Uh, let's see. Say it can do IRL fishing strings. That would be cool. Man, I would want to do that. Like, I really, really thought about doing that. I don't want to be, you know, sitting there, have people bored. But I know we chat and we talk. So, you know, people can sit and chat while we waiting on the fish to bite. But, yeah, I would do that, man. I would do an IRL string. Especially if I get on a boat, I had a uh, I did a boat trip for Father's Day, and um caught a lot of bass, caught a lot of crappie. I actually ate some the other night, uh, cause I brought them home and filleted them, and I caught some some decent sized ones. But yeah, I hope to get a boat one day. I'm gonna try to get me a giant boat, trying to save up once the money get right, get me a little giant boat or something like that. Get out there, see if I can use it to make some money or at least some food. But yeah, Brock, I definitely do that, man. Okay, that's what's up, Thunder. Uh, let's see, two out of the three were in your cheek and only one was in your head. Goodness. Yeah, man, I know trying to get that out is crazy. Big say you got you a giant boat. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get me one. I'm gonna I'm definitely get me one. I'm gonna start there before I get one of the, you know, the big boy fancy joints that you see them riding around on with the lakes that people have parked in the back. I'm gonna start with a giant boat, but I'm gonna get one of those eventually. It's coming, guys. We're gonna get out there on the boats. We're gonna find us a bank to fish at. Nice lakes, all that, or, or a nice pond. I'm, I thought about doing a pine hunter series here locally because I be now I now I'm so addicted. I got fish brain. I be on my map. I'm in an app called uh, what's this app I'm on? I'm not on that fish brain app. Too many people said they done got too spammy. I'm on this app called fishing. Is it called fishing spots? The fishing spots app. Yeah, fishing spots by Fish Angler. It's a pretty good app. And they got maps and, you know, it show you the spots and everything, show you people catches. But then I'd be on Google, too, looking for ponds. I found this one pond. It was a big pond, like it's full of bass. But they had private signs all over it. It was in a little neighborhood in the cut. I saw it on the map. I said, oh, let me see if this if it's fishable. But they had do not fish. They said 24-hour surveillance. Like, they had cameras on it, everything. I don't know who the owner was. Cause it was in the middle of a of a, like a not a roundabout, but a a street you could ride. Oh, we got a hit, we got a hit. A street you could ride around, but they had. I mean, they had about thirty private signs on it. So I was like, I ain't gonna even try. It. I ain't gonna mess with it. I definitely want to get permission. You know, we ain't Carolina, so even though it ain't South Carolina, Texas, we still got some gun. We still play by some gun laws down here. But um. Yeah, man. I definitely want to get us get a get a pond. I want to build me a pond, man. I'm gonna get enough property one day that I'm gonna build my own pond. That's that's a goal in the next five, ten years. That's gonna happen. But uh, but yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I want to do a pine hunter series. So I can find any like pines that are fishable, you know, that whether the people or private ones that people give me permission. Some good pay ones or anyone I can find in the city that are that you know that you can fish at that's public and see if we can catch some bass off in them joints, some catfish, some crappie. I want to catch crappie next so I can cook them joints up. 
Uh, let's see, let us know ahead of time so we can plan to be at the lake as well. All right, we'll do, we'll do. Be fishing on the yacht soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this shark won't that one. He going for it again over there on the left. Yes, sir, B. We're going to be on the yacht making a video. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Are shovelhead cats, sorghum catfish the same? I do not know. I was assuming the shovelheads are flatheads. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, come on in. Come on in. All right, I, I got to do my little method real quick. We're going to sit this down. Ah, I was not trying to pick up the other ride, dog, on it. I'm picking up the same ride. Did I lose them? No, no. Oh, I had three rides out. I got three rides out. Oh, I got to hurry up and reel this one in. All right, let's get down. Let's release the brake. Let's get back up here. Let's get this jammy. Look at that. Let's keep it moving. Let's go. Let's go. We got them, y'all. Uh, Let's see. It should try it out. Uh, People who are not from America like you uh, want to see what all fish we have. Okay, Brock. I'm for real. I, like I said, I already got the chest harness, but I'm, I got my phone right now, but I don't want to keep using my phone. Even though it works, I want to get a GoPro, something with like a slightly wider range, but but the phone works. Uh, let's see, you actually in the hospital, they said you had two weeks to live. Hey, don't say that, man. Don't be playing like that, big. You say you just kidding. All right, all right. Uh, let's see, you do have an, have Australian bass. But they are not where you live. Okay, they're at the top of Australia. So what's the common uh fish that's like bass in your area? Yeah, what is a fish that um that like I said is like bass that everybody catch? It's like a sport fish that you gotta that you can spin fish though. Not like catfish per se. Uh Thunder says shovelhead, flathead is how you know them. Okay, yeah, I figured I figured it was uh flathead. Uh, we just refer to the three major types of cats around here in Ohio. Blue, shovels, channels. Okay, nice. Hey, what's up, Bethany? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Hey, I'm doing well. I cannot complain. How are you? What's going on with you? Uh, let's see. Big Cat, be active. Join the Discord. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thanks, Brock. It, that's exactly. Brock hit it on the head. Andrew, what's up? What's up? Say you late, but you think that little fish you got is a tiny rock bass. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, that might be. Hey, okay. Okay. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up. There's a tiny rock bass. Okay. Uh, let's see. You from Arkansas. Y'all got blue cats. Channel bullhead. Okay, yeah, we got channel, we got blues, and we got uh flatheads here in North Carolina. We might have one other type, but I know those are the the main ones. Let's see. And say so you in Ohio, blue shovels, channels. Um I spent a summer in Ohio at Columbus. I was at Ohio State in like 2010, 2011. Columbus is pretty straight. Now, I was in the little cottage part, but you know, I, I got around the city. I like to go explore. I like to go explore. Hey, they had a little festival by there too. In Columbus, I don't know if it's in all of Ohio, but in Columbus, uh, <laughs> not wearing clothes up top is is legal so they got festivals where people just go around topless and and it was it was very interesting uh let's see playing some star trek on okay playing some star trek online how is star trek online i have not played that i've seen it though it looked pretty good Uh, let's see. Uh, Brim 
they are silver, they are in fresh and salt water. Yeah, you know, down here where I'm from in the country, everybody just call most panfish brim. Say it's wicked fun. Nice, nice. Oh, we getting a hit. It's a quick hit. The shark is on that one. Yeah, they lighten up. I told you, they seem to do better when you when you get back a little bit. All right, there we go. We got another hit, guys. We got another hit. They starting to get active. Very addicting. Okay. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. I think I might even have it on my wish list. All right, let me put him down. Let me hop down. Release the anchor. Let's get back up. Let's go. Yeah, down here in the Carolinas, like especially like I say, older country, man, and really in a lot of places in the South, they just call all panfish brim. But the real brim, I know, is silver. And I know especially like if you're in Europe and places like that, they're going to say that those aren't brim. You know, those are red ear sunfish or uh, bluegill, you know. They're not brim. But, yeah, they call, them, call everything brim around here. Let's see. Flathead shovel. Cat's wiki says Sarubum catfish are in South America. Okay. North American cats. Okay, okay. Hey, you say you're gonna take a shower. You haven't took one since this morning. So uh you'll be doing that for about 15 30. Okay. Hey big. Well look, man. Appreciate you stopping through. I'm gonna probably hop off here momentarily. I'm gonna start to wind down. Cause yeah, it's getting late here. I gotta get up early as well. And I was going to make it short, but, man, we've been having such a great time on the stream, man. I'm really, really glad everybody came and hung out. So, you know, I'd have stuck around a little longer. Plus, this was to make up for yesterday. I hope to stream tomorrow, guys. I, I plan to stream tomorrow. Let me say it like that. I plan to stream tomorrow. I wanted to do Tuesday and Thursday, but because I got hooked, it threw off everything with work and all of that. I was sitting, you know, and they're having to wait to get seen to get that hook out my finger. And they, they numbed me up and everything. So. Um, I didn't get the stream last night. And actually, when I got home, it was about 8. I was still going to stream, but it was like, let me just go on and, and rest and chill out. So I did that. But yes, yes. Hey, just be on the lookout, man. I'll be streaming again. Um, I'm trying to get back on a schedule of even releasing some videos. So I'm going to do some more hot spots, hit some of the lakes I haven't done. Um, A lot of them we know, but it's a lot of people that don't know. So I want to get more of the hot spots. And um, I'm, I got a few ideas. I ain't going to even say, but I got a few other ideas that I'm going to do for this. I want to do some Hunter videos, guys. I've seen some people who got some great content out for the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I'm really probably not going to do a lot of crazy content. I might just stream it and just go around and we hunt. Y'all give me some tips for you guys that play it. Because I'm still getting better and, and getting my technique down. But I have actually been leveling up, getting more perks. So I want to play some of that. And I may do a video or two. You know, like an edited video, but I probably mainly stream. Got a few other games. I, I had a dev send me a survival game. I want to get back to playing some of my survival, some of my indie games as well. But I'm going to always drop this content. Uh, but the dev sent me this. It's an indie game. It's like a, you in the wild, like in the snow, like in Antarctica or somewhere trying to survive. It's like Green Hell, but in the snow. I can't think of the name right now. I'll probably tell y'all later, but I'm going to probably do some content for that as well. So, yeah, man, and like my man was asking about car, uh, car sim as well. But look, I, again, I'm going to start winding it on down, man, winding it on down. Hey, you're welcome, CS. Let me know. Keep me posted in the Discord on how your luck is going. As you've seen from me sitting here, or the sharks that I caught just here in the stream, I'm going to show you how much I made. That's 24K. And we only been here at this location for, what, about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes maybe? And a lot of times there's more activity than that. But I could feel this net up sitting here. Sometimes I play it, catch about six sharks, do something else, you know, jump off, hop back on, catch them. So you fill up your net, you can make about 100K. So um, And sometimes they pop. So, yeah, let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. The greater game. Okay, okay. Yeah, the dev hit me up and sent me a key. So I'm a uh I'ma play that game as well on the channel. I just been I it's a couple other games. There's a lot I want to play, man. I, I wish look, wish I had more time in the day. But we're gonna get on there. I'm gonna get some more content out, guys. All right. So look, 
Y'all hit that like button for me before we get out of here. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Follow if you have not followed. If you're watching this later, thank you, man. We always get a lot of support and love coming back, watching it later. Hey, GTV. Shout out to Global TV. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'm thinking that's the name of the game. <laughs> What's up, G? Hey, look, man. Hey, look, I was just doing the wind down, man. I've been, uh, ah, G. I got to show my man G this real quick before I hop off. All right, G, look. The reason this this uh, this uh stream is named what it's named is because I got hooked. I got hooked in the finger. Check that out. I was catching this bass, man, and caught a couple, caught this little joint right here. And then uh, you said that might be a little bass, a little hybrid bass. You said rock bass. It does look like a bass, though. Um, And then that joint, the third one I caught, the third bass I caught was shaking. I was trying to get the hook out. Three times I was reaching to get them, hook, you know, lip them. And, man, that mug got me. I was hooked. It was ugly. It was ugly. But I ain't going to tell the whole story. It's in the stream. But I'll tell you about it later, man. But yeah. Oh, that's a blue gear. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, man. Like I say, um, it's been great. It's been great. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do it again. Got a lot of content that uh I wanna make. Uh yeah, I'll be on the Discord though. I'ma still be up for for a little minute, man. So you can hit me on Discord, but then I'll be shutting it down. I ain't gonna be on too long though. Um but yeah, again, it's been a great stream. Hit that like button, subscribe. If you're watching later, thank you. Thank you. Always appreciate it. Everybody comes through, show love, and, and watches uh, the streams afterwards. And uh, again, drop the comments, man. Let me know y'all favorite lures, man, for bass. What y'all use for bait for the cats, since we know we all pretty much where we live catch the bass and the cats. Um, And, you know, what, what technique you use or what type of rig your setup is, man. Drop that in the comments. Drop that in the chat. Hit that like, subscribe, man. And I really, really appreciate everybody. And again, I hope y'all have a great evening, a great day tomorrow, great weekend. If I don't see you, uh, you know, on the next stream, man, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Prayers up. Peace, blessings to you and your loved one. Hopes everybody's healthy, happy, safe. And we're going to do this again, man, on the later on. All right? All right, guys. So I will holler at y'all later, man. Y'all take it easy. Thank you again for being here with me, man. I will see y'all on the later on. Peace.